Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset your iPhone back to factory default settings. This is something you would do if you're expecting to sell, give away, trade in, or get rid of your iPhone. So let's get started. Now, before you do this, one of the very first things I recommend is you back up your data and have it moved over to another device, preferably. If you haven't backed it up, you can do a backup on iCloud by clicking on settings and then your name, iCloud, and then do an iCloud backup from here. So you see the option here, you can hit continue, backup, iCloud backup, and then click on backup. Another thing you might also consider doing is a backup on a computer, which will save it locally on your computer. But again, backing up is important because once you do this, again, it cannot be undone. So in your settings, if you're ready to do a factory reset, go to general and then down here below to transfer reset iPhone and then click on erase all content and settings and it's going to tell you what's being erased. Things like apps and data, your Apple account and then find my iPhone will be turned on, off and then you hit continue. Click on erase and then it'll do a backup for you just to make sure if you want to do that but you can also skip that. So let it basically back up again. This is optional, you can always skip it. And then you need to enter your Apple ID password in order to remove your account, which I'm going to do now. And once you enter your Apple ID password for your account, you're gonna click on turn off and then wait for it to go basically remove your account. So here I'm waiting. And after that, it's gonna go ahead and start the factory reset process which should take a few minutes at most depending on how much data has to get deleted or wiped you want to see this process through make sure you have enough charge i recommend at least 50 percent or more charge during this process or have it connected to the charger just in case it does not turn off during this process which it will not complete now what you're going to want to do is wait until you see the hello screen menu again like you initially saw when you initially set up the phone that will indicate you have successfully factory reset your iPhone and after a few minutes you will see the hello screen as I mentioned and this indicates you have now successfully factory reset or raised your iPhone and I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.